Weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers. Sponsored by West Tech Foundation Repair. So all got warm again today, and we're going to see another warm day as we roll through our Wednesday before a cold front pushes through the area Wednesday night, bringing us cooler temperatures across our area. We're talking about highs in the 60s as we get towards the end of the week, and then it's going to warm up as we head into the weekend before another front pushes through with some cooler air bringing us back down into those 60s and 70s for daytime highs as we go into the beginning of next week. High for today, we made it to a high of 87. This breaks our previous record high of 84 set back in 2016. Currently out at Mathisville, we're sitting at 69 degrees, so we have drastically cooled off from where we were this afternoon. Humidity is at 53%. Winds are out of the south at 16 miles an hour. Pressure sitting at 29.83 inches and rising under clear conditions. Temperatures in your neighborhood look like this. 66 in Sterling City, 69 in Wall, 67 in Brady, 66 in Menard, 70 down in Junction still and in Sonora, 66 in Ozona, 64 over in Barnhart. So we're all pretty much sitting in those 60s across our neighborhoods this evening. Tomorrow morning, we're going to start off in the 50s. Clear conditions across our area as you get on the bus tomorrow morning, heading off to school, and then picking up the kids from school tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be right around 80, mostly sunny conditions as we work our way into the afternoon hours. Clouds are right out right now, already starting to see some clouds filter into the Texas panhandle into portions of New Mexico and Oklahoma. That's all ahead of the next system that is moving our way. That's going to be the cold front that swings through here as we go into Wednesday evening. Here's the temperatures for daytime highs on Wednesday. We are going to warm into those 80s. Plenty Plenty of sunshine throughout the day on Wednesday. Then watch this on Thursday. We're going to see those temperatures drop into those 60s across the area. A little bit of cloud cover here and there, mainly around the I-10 corridor, but most of us seeing plenty of sunshine on Thursday. Again on Friday, plenty of sunshine hanging into those 60s for daytime highs on Friday. And then on Saturday, more sunshine warming into those upper 70s for us across much of our area. And then on Sunday, we're going to see those temperatures climb into the upper 70s and low 80s for us as we roll into the beginning of next week. Monday, another shot of cool air across our area. That brings highs back into the 60s along with a little bit of cloud cover to help keep those temperatures on the cooler side. Tuesday, we'll start to clear out. Temperatures climbing back into the upper 60s, lower 70s for daytime highs. Let's talk about this. We've got a partial lunar eclipse coming up early on Friday morning. This is going to start about 1.18 in the morning. Your maximum eclipse is coming up at 3.02. And again, it's a partial eclipse, not a full eclipse, but you're going to see much of the moon obscured by the Earth's shadow. And then at 447 a.m. on Friday, that partial eclipse is going to come to an end for our area and no more eclipse for us as we go into Friday morning. So if you're an early bird or a late night owl, maybe something you want to get up and check out on early Friday morning. Tonight, we dropped around 57 clear conditions for our Wednesday. We'll top out near 80, warm and sunny with winds out of the north at 15 to 20 miles an hour as we get through the next five days. This is what to expect across our area. Cold front swings through Wednesday evening. That's going to drop us from the 80s to the 50s and 60s for daytime highs Thursday and Friday. Then on Saturday, we rebound back into the 70s on Saturday and Sunday before another push of cold air brings us back into the 60s and 70s for daytime highs to start the next work week. Stay with us. We've got more KCN News at 10 coming up right after this.